ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಪ್ರಣವನಾದ ಜಗತ್ತಿಗೆ ತೋರಿಸಿದಂತಹ ಸಂಹಾರ ಕಾರಕನಾದ ನಟರಾಜನಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ತಿರೋಭಾವಗಳಿಗೆ ಅಧೀಶ್ವರನಾದ ಸುಂದರ ಸ್ವರೂಪನಾದ ನಿತ್ಯ ನೃತ್ಯನಾದ ಸತ್ಯನಾದ ಆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನಿಗೆ ವಂದಿಸುತ್ತ ವಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಆನ್ ಬಿಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೆಡರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಡಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ initiative which we have taken to uh, you know look for a unique journey a dancers talk and today we have our own very popularly known amongst us as lalita aunty and the great torch bearer of mysore bani of bharatanatyam amongst us we welcome you to the show ma'am thank you so much namaskara to everybody <laughs> it's indeed an honor a blessing indeed to go through and introduce her i think she doesn't need an introduction but i would be uh, quoting some of her um, you know life journey to you all just to introduce you and to the crowd who doesn't know uh, her profile but she is a well known uh, artistic personality in karnataka dr lalita shrinivasan is a dancer teacher choreographer and a research scholar her organization nupura school of bharatanatyam has been a flag bearer of the mysuru bani of bharatanatyam emerging with a style that typifies grace and dignity and a completely different way of rendering the abhinaya or emotive aspect of the repertoire lalita ma'am a foremost disciple of late padma bhushan and dr k venkata lakshmamma is known for her mastery over abhinaya and has received and passed on the knowledge to her students several rare and authentic compositions of the mysuru tradition that were performed in the ernst weil court of mysuru lalita shrinivasan has performed all over the country and abroad and also given innumerable lecture demonstrations at all prestigious platforms and occasions dr lalita shrinivasan is a choreographer par excellence and has to her credit numerous dance ballets like chitrangada shri krishna parijata lasyotsava prema bhakti mukti kaushika sukritam gaudramalli devakannika nisha vibhrama and many more which has been performed all over india and abroad too with a critical acclamations she is especially lauded for her innovative works like angabhava kavya nritya and sulalita nritya which is a revival of the 16th century dance form the suladi and a very celebrated uh, nisha vibhrama which is her production dr lalita shri sivasan has tutored several students through her institution nupra school of bharatanatyam in bengaluru many of them have gone forward to perform and run their own institutions all over the world Dr Lalita Srinivasan is the holder of prestigious Shiromani award Priyadarshini awards at the national level Karnataka Kala Tilaka by the Sangeet Nritya Academy of Karnataka Kannada Rajyotsava Prashasti by Government of Karnataka and the prestigious Natya Rani Shantala award from the Karnataka government which are a very few to mention she was also a fellow of the Ministry of Human Resource Development Government of India for a while The Karnataka Sangeet and Nritya Academy has published two of her books which she has authored. More than 30 years she has directed Nit- Nitya and Nritya, a national festival of dance that has brought many gurus and talented artists to Bengaluru and is instrumental in invigorating the dance scene in the city of Bengaluru and Karnataka. We are very privileged to have such a great persona uh, amongst us today and I open the floor to our captain shri sai venkatesh ji to take over and interact with ma'am namaste namaste namaskara madam namaskara <laughs> welcome namaste. to dancer stock a Pardon. unique journey of every dancer we try to make this unique journey a pleasant journey and what all you went through to become a superstar <laughs> and you are a great icon of our karnataka who have taken dance into a different level and brought karnataka artist to a different level 
मैडम वी जस्ट वांट टू नो हाउ दिस लव फॉर डांस स्टार्टेड इन योर अर्ली एज डिड यू स्टार्ट इन द स्कूल लेवल और इन योर कॉलेज लेवल और यू और यू वर पुश्ड इनटू डांस यू वर फोर्स्ड इनटू डांस आर यू इट वाज दैट देयर इन यू योरसेल्फ हाउ एग्जैक्टली यू केम इनटू कांटेक्ट विद क्लासिकल डांस थैंक यू साई फॉर योर नाइस वर्ड्स एंड agar also for this good introduction and uh, nothing great it was started in a very small way i should say <laughs> when i was 5 or 6 i don't know i had started dancing on my own my father was an electrical engineer so he used to live in mafusil areas like shiva samudram project areas jog hasan hasan is the one which really gave me a Philip to my dancing or uh, boosted up my interest in dance because the danada jatra which happens there every year also has a congress exhibition for that exhibition all greats like uh, kamla kumari kamla lalita padmini oh. raj and hmm. then uh, us krishna chandrabaga devi maya didi chitra didi everybody used to come and dance there i was so young i used to with the open eyes and wide eyes i used to go on observing all of them and then i used to do this nadar mudi mel nagar pam of kamala attracted me a lot and i started doing all acrobatic actions with that <laughs> with my sister for prodding me and singing aadu pam be aadu pam and i used to go on <laughs> doing all exercises circuses that's how it started and then um, the gubbi veerana and hiranaya uh, the earlier master, master the not yeah. his, one, the, his father yeah yeah to enact their dramas there in hasan they used to put on deras and uh, do their uh, uh, theater shows and for that they used to come to my father to get electric uh, connections for the dera so they we used to have passes every day used to go and watch them all these things i used to watch with uh, uh, such a wonder and uh, interest and then hiranaya also told my parents this girl has some talent i think you must put her to a good teacher he blessed me with that and it really oh. it has, it has helped me i think and then oh. there were no teachers in hasan no dance teachers at all music i started learning because my mother was a very good singer so with her i started and then i had a teacher also then after coming to bangalore when i was 10 i came to bangalore but there i had all the opportunity to dance whatever i wanted and my sister is a little 10 years older than me so she used to see some movies and come and tell me that vijayanti mala dance like this with for gopala nadana naduvene teerada viliyattu pillai and then this snake charmer dance by padmini so i used to <laughs> imbibe all those information and start my own see i was a choreographer then not now i got dance and dance <laughs> because there was nobody to tell me how to dance just by looking at everybody i started dancing and i used to have opportunities because my father was the head of the whole colony of electric board so cyber magal dance martale kotbidi ginta august 15 to idu navaratri deepavali en function every function in the colony of electricity department i used to dance <laughs> all this nonsense only <laughs> and then I, when we came to bangalore i was ten we moved to bangalore because of education of my brothers and all that so then uh, we were in maleshwaram just across this halli uh, mane third cross alley so okay. my, my parents my mother put me to this uh, keshavdatya shale which was at fifth cross circle maleshwaram okay. so okay. i started going there when i was 10 and master really took interest in me i should be so grateful to him for 10 long years i was with him and then uh, he taught me so much and he gave me so many opportunities to the dance in his dance dramas mohini basmasura is to be a basmasura and in uh, this thing 
Kama Dahana has to be Shiva. And then uh, in, uh, later also in the Krishna Tula Bara, I was Rukmini. And then uh, Parvati Korovanji had one. Kausalya gets the information from uh, Parvati as a Korovanji that Rama will be born to her. That kind of stories we used to enact. He always encouraged me a lot and he had a lot of interest in me and really he brought me up beautifully. And he was a very disciplined teacher also. So I learned my base very well with him, which has stood in time for me always. And then by yeah. 19, I was married. Oh, so oh. <laughs> my parents in our past 60 and I had no courage to ask them that I want to continue dancing. <laughs> and oh. then after, after the wedding day, we had a program on the terrace of our house because all relatives were around. They were asking, what is it she dances? So I gave a performance that day and then stopped performing almost. Oh. Till, uh, 62, I got married till 70. I did not do anything. In between, sometime I used to go to Keshamurti, that's all. Because we were in 12th class, he was in 15th class then. So it was close by. And then one year we were all, we also shifted to Bombay because my husband got a job there. And then I could not live in Bombay. I went on um, pestering him to come back to Bangalore. <laughs> and then somehow I didn't like the place at all. And then he oh, got okay. his ME. So that was fortunate. And he came back to study ME. He had done his okay. BE before and ME he wanted to do. So I was at a loose end then. Then I started going to Keshamurti. And then I was not too keen on performance because I thought my parents-in-law may not like it so much. They were quite orthodox. And then um, master said, Sumne bandhu hog bada class ge. do your exams at least. He put me to senior, he put me to uh, Vidvat and I passed Vidvat with a first rank to my credit. Oh. And then that opened up my eyes. And also seeing Vasant Lakshmi, who was trained in Kalakshetra, also impressed me a lot. There's so much more to dancing than just what we have learned. This is not enough. We have to go ahead and do something else. So I was I went on thinking about it. And in 70, I passed with what? And then somewhere along the 74 or so, I, I, I saw... Venkat Lakshama student performing a javli, which impressed me. I said, this is it. This is something I must learn. This is something I can do well. It convinced me that I was always good in Abhinaya and then master also used to tell me. And I asked, I asked his permission. He said, how do Abhinaya ke? She is the one. You must go to her and learn. Then I started going 75, 76. I went to Mysore. Every weekend I used to travel by bus. Go to oh Venkat. Oh my God. Learn from her. And also Madam was very obliging and very generous. She taught me so much. I can never be th enough thankful to my gurus. And then my Dr. Satya Narayana, I used to meet him for studying the Natya Shastra. He used to give me lectures on that. I used to go to his house. He said, Fandrutta Mugur is famous. So Mugur Jejama okay. is there. Don't you go to her also. Then okay. I started going to Mugur Jejama and Dr. Venkat Lakshama both Saturday two classes, Sunday two classes and come back. It was really quite hard. And then uh, anyway, it, uh, I was so interested and I uh, loved the Abhinaya pieces I learned from Madam Venkat Lakshama and Jejama was also a very disciplined and I liked her a lot. She was a real, sincere and upright personality, Jejama was. And uh, all these three gurus have been an amalgam of uh, Kolara style, <laughs> Mugu style and Mysore style. And I have found my own path also of my own. This thing also. Later, uh, I started uh, performing uh, in uh, seven. After seventy-five, I didn't look back. I started. Oh, wonderful! Wonderful. In seventy-seven, uh, between uh, I did my Ranga Pravesha only after marriage. My oh. helped me <laughs> when I was okay. twenty-seven. 
I performed my, I was married at 19 and oh. 27 I did my, Kalakshetra was built then, 64 or yes. so. I was yes. so fascinated by the Kalakshetra stage. I went on pestering my husband, I must dance here, I must dance here. <laughs> <laughs> then I had my Angarangetram there at Kalakshetra. And then uh, Natuanar Gundappa of Kola style, who was my master's guru, he ah. came, Vishamurthy only okay. conducted the whole show. And okay. uh, I performed. Between 66, my performance, and 77, uh, I did not perform at all. I was that only my exams, that's all. Manu was also okay. born in and okay. then. Okay. And after, after going to Medam, I said I must perform, start performing. And I also started teaching at Malaysian Ladies Association. Okay. The, MLA. Okay. My whole family has been uh, doing human service to Malaysian Ladies Association. So they okay. asked me, Sumne Kaltkond Yak Manel Kuti Dia Ban Nam Kali. That is so. That is so. <laughs> I started teaching there. There was a big okay. group of 66, 68 girls there learning. Then okay. I said, I cannot handle this. And then some of the parents started pestering me. That's how I started Nupura. There was no oh. intention behind anything. It just <laughs> so it carried me along one after the other. And then so did, you, did you stop uh, performing at that time or you still continued performing and teaching? Yes, from 77 onwards. In 77, I I had to think, you know, 66 to 77, I hadn't performed at all. The okay. field had grown 10 years ahead, no? Yeah. Which yeah. Imp keeps improving also. Then I said, yeah. I must also be par with other dancers. Otherwise, yes. I cannot exist. You can't. So that I is true. composing my own, like I did Sudamai of the, uh, this one, Muttai Bhagavata with the Swara Prasthara. Okay. For the, dancing for the Swara Prasthara and such uh, okay. numbers. And then Daru, which uh, is taught by my guru, Dr. Venkat Lakshama. But okay. uh, unfortunately, the Mysore style had very little nritta, very simplistic nritta. Simplistic so I wanted to improve that. So I went to Narma, Narmada auntie also to learn what was the difference between the Tanjavu style and Mysore style. And she okay. generously taught me three Varnams. Oh, so okay. that, that opened was... up my eyes to the Dritta. It was a Kitapa style? Or a... Ah, yeah, it was Kitapa Ki style. Kitapa she style, was okay. Good. As you know, she's been a wonderful yeah. teacher. Yeah, wonderful and teacher, yeah. She was very fond <laughs> of me and she taught me an Atta Thala Varnam, Ragamalika Varnam, and a Tamil Varnam, which I did not know. So after Not that, before. I couldn't go anymore to her, and uh, Nupura also became more active. Active, active, active. Started so producing Thomas. That also came love, oh. yeah. to Guru Murti. He used to do ah, dance. Uh, I was also prompted <laughs> to do things. Yes, Sai, what did. Uh, yeah, what? Kittu sir, uh, as you said. No, no. Kittapa uh. Pillai student, Narmada. Oh, sir, Kittapa Pillai. Okay, okay, okay. You came yeah. in contact with Kitapa. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And uh, so, behind you, uh, behind every woman, there is a man. So yeah. the person Srinivasan who was with you was always uh, encouraging all your ventures. Yes, definitely. He? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. He has done everything for me except that I used to sit and teach or perform, practice and perform. Every okay. organizational uh, these things, everything he used to take care of, everything, travel. Taking care Super. of my musicians, everything he used to do very well. He's a very good org organizer After from the uh, college yeah. days. Wonderful. Yeah. After your uh, Arangetram, uh, your own Arangetram experience, uh, did you also start uh, conducting Arangetrams from your uh, Nupura organization? Yes. Did in you also st you started teaching? I started in 78 Nupura. In 81, okay. I had the first Sarangatram of my, one of my students, Hari Priya Kasturi. Oh, okay. 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 And okay. then we went Wonderful. on. After that, you went on. <laughs> and then uh, Musha and Uma and then Manu and it went on. So, so Manu also did the Arangatram with you? 
Now, your daughter Manu. Oh, okay, I think definitely. we have Manu with us. For a second, <laughs> we will call Manu on the side with us. Manu, okay. please come. Ah. Hello, Manu. How are you? Good. Sir. You're on mute, Manu. Okay. Hi. Ila. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. now I can hear you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Manu, Wonderful. lovely. Hi, you did your Arangetram with your mother. Yes, you yes, from where? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. When did you start learning? You started I with your mother or you learned with somebody? I started with my mother. Uh, I okay. Really, I think when I started dancing. But oh. later on, she she thought I was not disciplined enough when I was learning with her. Ah. She took me to Adyar Lakshman for a few years. Oh, and also to my firm God. up the Nritta aspects that she said, you know, was probably okay. a lot more intense with the Kalakshetra style that Adyar Lakshman taught. You went so to I Chennai then? No, he used to come to Bangalore. Oh, he used to come to Bangalore. Okay, okay. okay. And I, okay. Yeah. I, over the weekends. So I used to go okay. and learn from him. So I've learned quite a few. I learned the Varnam, the Tilanam, the entire Marga I have learned from him. Yeah, we learned. Then I continued with oh, Amma okay. after, after a few years with Lakshman. I continued with Amma after okay. that. Okay. Then what was the chemistry between you and uh, Amma? Huh? Amma? Yeah, Ranga Pravesh. And Jeevraj Arva was ah. the guest. And then he promised oh, okay. to all okay. All young girls are doing Ranga Prashad, three programs. Oh, That's wonderful. He was our culture minister of our uh, right. Karnataka state, and of course, he was the excellent he culture minister. A lot. We, Manu, we, we, we yeah. yeah. Manu, you what sort of uh, chemistry, uh, chemistry between you, you and your mother? No, because once, one side, she's a teacher, and uh, of course, uh, she has to be very strict with you, and other side, yeah. Uh, your uh, mother and the love, affection, and she can't scold you nor beat you or uh, oh, you know no, take no. you for a task. How was that no, I, relation I, I, which I made you a big dancer? You were one time a great dancer. I don't. I think I've been scolded more than anybody else. I always felt okay. she was stricter, <laughs> stricter with me than with her other students. I understand okay. why because uh, she wanted probably more from me. And she wanted That's me to right. be better than others. But uh, yeah. yeah, at that time, it was quite, uh, what should I say, exacting. Or I used to feel quite, you know, why is my mother uh, being so strict with me rather than being more, uh, you know, softer towards me. But I realized she's a very strict teacher. So okay. She's, yeah, very demanding, very disciplined, okay. very strict. Okay. And uh, that kind of strictness is also That's there. That's very in the nice. House. So As you person, became something big with that sort of discipline. I don't believe I was big yeah. or anything. I think it was more uh, something I've always been doing. Title in Bombay, uh, sing, Sur singer, and then she went on to perform in uh, Haridas Samel Nadar and several. Ah, wow, look! Oh, Sur singer. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. So I've done a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, because of personal reasons, I couldn't continue. Okay. But today I'm happy that my daughter is also learning from her. And I'm happy Great. to say that my daughter, she is much So more you have been venturing in a lot of performances. And uh, I know I've been seeing your performances. You yeah, Did you also take up to teaching? After uh, your uh, so Arangetra? I, I didn't at that did time. Also... At that okay. time, I didn't teach. But I teach now. I teach all the entry level, the kids okay. and the juniors at Nupura. And uh, oh. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. <laughs> okay. So it's it's lovely to be seeing young young people come up, enjoy the dance. And nowadays you have to tell them the stories as well, help them understand our culture. So I'm enjoying that part quite a yeah. bit. <laughs> good, 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 good. Wonderful. So you have been helping your mother quite a long time from uh, day younger and uh, after Arangetram and and you also stand as one of the very responsible person for building up the wonderful dance institution Nupura, which is a worldwide. Uh, she does a lot of 
yes 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 i, yes, I helped yes. to manage and administer the institution since i don't dance true. now i felt the one way i can contribute is to actually look okay. at how the organization can grow what are the things that we can do and of course nitya nritya has been a dream project of my mother and father so it's something yeah. i feel i should carry forward and uh, last i think 5 6 years i have been organizing nitya nritya and it has been wonderful uh, something wonderful. that uh, is very enjoyable and uh, we've met so many artists so many people have come to perform last year we did it virtually it was very well appreciated all over the world Oh. and we had people from every country logging in to watch it so it was extremely enriching and satisfying so i'm yeah. enjoying this thing as well i think nupur was the only one organization and uh, your whole family uh, including your dad and uh, suresh hn suresh who's been also yeah. been uh, uh, very well working behind the whole technical aspect organizing things yeah. and uh, nitin rutya brought bought bangalore something fantastic what we see almost all the dancers from all over the world and all over the country all the state gurus big gurus came and performed right. it was the greatest opportunity i think even the government yeah. of uh, karnataka or government of india did this no, job no. the credit should definitely go to uh, uh, madam and your family for a wonderful uh, uh, work you have been the doing support and of so many people we had shri b v k shastri yeah, we yeah. Had, uh, yes uh, dr satyanara and Vimla Rangaji, yes. Dr. Yes. Rangnath, so many of them okay. were there to support Dr. the whole. Dr. Satyanarayan, uh, yeah. all of them gave us so much of inputs and helped us so much. Yes, we had yes. a lot of contact. Both Vimla. I know and... all the programs were done in Chowdhury Memorial Hall, yeah. and you also know there was. A... Sai, we lost you. I think. Uh, yeah. And there's a big long queue. I used to stand also and get into the theater. <laughs> and we had a fight to get the uh, uh, passes. Passes was yeah. so demand. The theater could accommodate thousand people, and it would. We used to go more than thousand people. Used yeah. to stand in the uh, yeah. corridors and everywhere. That it was just aisle. fantastic. What a big contribution, yeah. Manu right. and uh, the. Whole... It happen now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Thank you, Manu, for being with us Thank for such so a much. lovely thing Thank and helping you. Mami. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Amma, you are a wonderful journey. It is so appreciating that you have done so many things. Your festival speaks. You speak, and uh, some of your um, connections. Uh, do you have any connections with the um, film world, the TV world, or anything? Uh, could you do something for larger audience? We can go. and with us we have one more uh, friend of us uh, vikram suri uh, who is also connected with lot of films tv serials and uh, can we have vikram on the screen please and he is been doing lot of work uh, social work and cultural work promoting lot of artists and he is into uh, uh, serial making vikram ji namaste we have a great guru with us lalita aunty uh, she has been also <laughs> she's been done lot to our state and lot to our country would you like to talk to her and doing about something about what auntie has done with anything with films I'm definitely not, uh, definitely connected with film world but i can tell you two things one is gvif had come to our house in 77 okay. and to he wanted me to do in uh, his famous film uh, anand nags what is that Uh, Sandhya Raga. Ham se gite, ham se gite. He wanted me to do, but I was too scared to ask my parents Lila, that I would go into films. Dance ano maar thala in cinema ano shuru maar. Oh. <laughs> And another thing is Naga Barna's first film. He asked me to do the heroine's role. That is. Uh, uh, Grahana. Ah, uh, uh, Grahana. Grahana. that also i refused i said uh, oh my god oh. <laughs> dancing is enough for me and uh, i do not want to enter films so that's i think all. both these films have made a very big name in national and world many awards you would have been a super film but, star <laughs> i know but i didn't think like that i was too scared to go for that and also bvk shastri also warned me it will be a very 
tedious process you you uh, have to leave home and go and stay there in places and it may take days together and i could not uh, think of such things with my family and the young daughter at that so i gave up again gv uh, ayer came to me for a uh, ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಸೀರಿಯಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಮತ್ತೆ ನೀನ್ ತಿರ್ಗ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಡ ನನ್ಗೆ ಅಂತ ಬೈಯೋರು ತುಂಬಾ ನಮ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದವರು ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕೂ ಲಾಯಕ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕರದ್ರ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಬೈಯೋರು ನನ್ಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಅವ್ರ ನೋಡಿ ಪದ್ಮಿನಿ ಇವ್ರನ್ನ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇವರು ಅಹ್ ಇದಾರಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಪದ್ಮಿನಿ ಯಾರದು ಅರ್ಥೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹೆಸರು ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಪದ್ಮಿನಿ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಪದ್ಮಿನಿ ರಾವ್ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಪದ್ಮಿನಿ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಕೆಲವು ಸೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ಆತರ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ನೀನು ಮಾಡು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಹೋಗಿ ತ್ರೀ ಗರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ಟು ಕಂಡ್ ಇಡು ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪ್ಸರಾಸ್ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಒಂದ್ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ರಾಜನ್ ನಾಗೇಂದ್ರ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಪೈಲಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ Unfortunately, he passed away within another oh. six months or so. That didn't take off. That's all the okay. connection I have with the film world. I have done it. Uh, uh, I was blessed to work with you, madam. Like, uh, it was in, I think, 1998-99. There was a workshop in uh, Yavanika Youth Writers and Artists Guild. Uh, yes. They had organized in that Benica, workshop. Uh, Isn't it? Yeah. Benica, I, Benekard no, no. Uh, I think so, yeah. But uh, the organization was Youth uh, Writers and uh, Artists uh, Guild. Uh, uh-huh. they, they had organized in Yavanika. So mm-hmm. it was a great time to, uh, and it was a great opportunity also to work with you, madam. Thank you so much. And another thing, very <laughs> nice thing which happened during Jeevra Jalva's time is the Vishwa Kannada Sammel Nath Mysore. I yeah. was given ah, yeah. yes. 60 dancers under me. Ooh. I directed and we had a wonderful show in front of the palace. There were more than 2 lakh people watching the whole thing. It was very thrilling. Uh, I, need to, I need to share some uh, few things with you, madam. Like, uh, uh, see, every media has got its own uh, popularity, uh, yeah. familiarity, fan followers. Because what happens in our uh, dance field, see, many celebrities who are also actors, actors uh, like uh, Hema Malini uh, and uh, Shobhana. Uh, if we come uh, to our Kannada industry, Lakshmi Gopal Swami and also Sanjay Shantaram, uh, Hema Prabhat, so even me. Uh, like uh, in some of the dance organizing festivals and all those things, uh we used to get a, a platform to perform in their stages at the same time uh, who uh, who used to work in only dance field even they are a very good dancers also uh they they used to like uh, comment some uh, uh, negative things all these uh, popular actors only get the good stages uh in these kinds of words uh, even uh, we are also like uh, uh why should we take such kinds of word from them even we uh, we also shocked because even we have also struggled in our own field in film field television field even we have worked a lot and yeah. it's not like uh, we are not getting it so uh, what do you uh, what do you like to share in this uh, matter ma'am no it gives you popularity and definitely it gives you you will be more often than- naturally people will recognize you very easily isn't it that's right like, uh, yeah but uh, if i uh, have to comment on this i don't like these reality shows which happen with dance it's almost uh, abusing i think they they call it dance and do all kinds of acrobatics and things that's not dance yeah uh, yeah. yeah nowadays nowadays that is uh, yeah. in drama dance acrobatics uh, all those things so we must keep within the boundaries of it so if you do that you will dignity will be maintained otherwise yeah. won't be yes i think so wonderful definitely people like you who have talent for both acting and dancing you can definitely go ahead and do it you yeah. will not get yeah. anything of your uh, personality 
any chance yeah thank you thank yeah. you yeah. your yeah. audio said was correct vikram suri is doing lot of work on serial yeah that is his talent he can do both means he also uh, make uh, yeah he is making lot of uh, efforts to bring lot of artists together yeah. i'm sure vikram suri will do something uh, for classical dancers uh, taking all your support your advice your blessings thank you vikram suri for and, that uh, wonderful i, I uh, need to share one your... last uh, last yes. one uh, thing yes. like yes. Uh, yes. see we go for theater <laughs> that is we true. theater people Thanks, in vikram any matter for being whether it is any cause yeah. or something we will come together but in our dance field if there is any cause yes. or something when we call uh, dancers won't come for anything also this is the drawback in our field no, <laughs> this difference is because you people are more male people are there in a theater <laughs> yeah. it's only women's thing yeah. so we yeah. have to balance right. between our uh, family and our career as dancers that takes yeah. away a lot of our time we don't want to be involved in anything else that happens to many of us even though i was That's dancing true. three shows in a month yeah. i had to observe everything at home because of my parents in law who are orthodox every festival everything and so much of housework <laughs> tradition <laughs> now, nowadays uh, yeah many uh, female but, classical dancers they are very capable of doing all these things alone they go with cds and all that we didn't have that opportunity correct 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 yes so wonderful, wonderful. thanks uh, vikram ji for being with us thanks for your precious Thank time thank you very much madam we, uh, you have introduced so many students who are in national level international level doing so much of work at all the levels <laughs> and um, their contribution is also fantastic they themselves for running shows they themselves for organizing festivals with us we have one more very talented you are one of the senior student prashant shastri with us prashant shastri please come on the screen Hello. wonderful prashant namaskaram namaskara Na namaskara prashant how are you namaskara aunty yeah Ah, yes, I'm, Prashant, how are you? you? Wonderful. You. Prashant fine, is fine. a film star. He is a TV he's, star. He is a wonderful a dance. One foot in uh, theater, one. I mean, films, and one foot in dance. And yeah. he's <laughs> he's very fond of dancing. So he yes, keeps dancing. yes. Sincerely, no, uh, yeah, we have seen lot of his uh, Lord Shiva performances in the serials and. Uh, tv and uh, films and uh, uh, prashant how 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 you utilized your whole uh, journey uh, with guruji like uh, lalita aunty uh, how you I, could I, uh, cope up and how you built up your own image in uh, films serials and your dance institution wonderfully you are doing lot of work how is it i am blessed that uh, my mother introduced me to lalita aunty and wow. uh, though i was learning from my mother guru prabhavati gopal shastri uh, there was the, i think this was the delhi program the, which aunty was uh, was one of, she choreographed some pieces where i was i remember doing the ganapati you know titta titta janu takita titta janu i was having a mukhavada ganapati and i was in the center and all the girls around and dancing and i remember doing karga sugi kunita and so many other items and uh, the way aunty was uh, interacting with the students really inspired me she was always very very inspiring and uh, as manu also said very strict but at the same time very friendly very very friendly so that is how i met lalita aunty and then i had uh, got this uh, state uh, karnataka state uh, scholarship so that is the time when okay. i opted to go to nopura so that is much okay. before i entered the movies so that's how my journey started uh, with nopura and uh, then i was uh, immediately i think after few years i was krishna there uh, for krishna parijata one of the ballets and oh, okay. uh, that's a wonderful experience and uh, after that i moved to chennai for my shoot and movies and uh, of course i never discontinued learning uh, dance uh, i continued uh, with the dananjan sir at chennai and of course Very my good. mother i used to make her sit in front of me amma 
to take my class today i just finished the shooting she used to be tired Thank but you. still she used to be doing that for me but i never left uh, the contact of aunty i was always in touch with her 2008 when we organized nrityotsava aunty came there to inaugurate at uh, mailapur uh, music academy she came oh. there and uh, she inaugurated the festival from 2008 so that's how my journey with aunty started and uh, of course i came back to bangalore uh, started continuing uh, continued to learn from her because there was a period about uh, almost 20 years of uh, time i was just doing the same old items i was doing my shooting i was working 25 years in indian that is tamil telugu malayalam kannada movies television but i i used to see that i practice my dance whether it was alaripu or jatiswaram whatever repeatedly at least monthly four classes with my mother the same old varnam nothing new the same item i used to keep doing and i never used to get bored only thing uh, as uh, vikram sir was just telling us that uh, a celebrity being a celebrity i was made to do i i was given the first classical number in a film program okay so oh, okay that how uh, i used to do classical so they knew that uh, prashant will do classical dance so we'll call him for one inauguration one song after that is all tapang with the songs all the other songs is to come folk dances everything but uh, see i used to enjoy the dance i used to enjoy it and uh, i i'm blessed that when i returned back to bangalore aunty uh, actually uh, that was a period where i was a uh, transition period between television and uh, movies you know there was a period that i'm aunty put me aunty and suresh sir gave me an opportunity to work at bharti vidya bhavan so i worked at bharti vidya bhavan for 4 years also learning with aunty that is the period when i started learning new items uh, new items and uh, see th- uh, that is the period i did my gandharva visharad exam all the things okay. that 20 years i did not do i didn't mind doing it again <laughs> i started doing everything good continuing to teach uh, so many things uh, that period when i had not learned so much of uh, uh, theory portions which i got it from aunty and uh, for anything i talk to aunty for anything it's dance okay. or my personal things anything uh, without her uh, yeah, without her uh, suggestion i wouldn't go for she is like my mother Wonderful. today i miss my mother that is so, yeah she is a mother to everybody i know yeah wonderful Thanks. so the techniques of um, uh, teaching the techniques of choreography the techniques of presenting uh, everything you learned with your guruji uh, is it uh the teaching portion like see i i basically was started my learning from my mother so i have what what happened to me is i okay. i teach in such a way that i uh, take uh, the whatever the best i learned from my mother and then from there i continue where i stopped from there i continued with auntie so everything i teach what auntie has taught okay. me so uh, it's not that uh, oh okay uh, there is something uh, for uh, choreography i would give 100% to aunty because she is an excellent choreographer and uh, i i have done couple of items like uh, uh, this, the varnams like sundara shri krishna or ganga varna all those things are, uh, and sami ninne kori wow. all these items are very close to me any day if somebody tells me you have to dance this i am ready for it Good. it's like you know uh, uh, see every day Wonderful. we learn it's not that uh, just because you start teaching you don't forget the roots so i don't say that i am a that great so. choreographer i'm still learning sai sai sir i'm still learning i'm still learning and yeah, trying to do my best that is so. yeah i know great great wonderful and wonderful was, it's a great know, thought and great respect for your guru and beautifully a uh, 40th year of nopura not only prashant so many of yeah. my old students came in 19 uh, 2019 and we had a wonderful time performing and enjoying being with each other all over the world kids all my students came and it was a wonderful wonderful, wonderful. blessing to be Thanks dancing on the same for, uh, stage with aunty i know yeah yeah great thank you prashant for being with us you are a film star you are a tv star you are a great dancer we are proud of you thank you aunty has given you so much of love and affection and blessings to you great thank you very much for being with us
guruji we have uh, yeah you. thank you yeah guruji you have trained so many artists uh, yeah have you also done uh, so many arrange drums and put them on the stage and you also uh, have uh, uh, opened their organizations for them and they are all teaching uh, uh, do you also encourage them to take up exams and uh, uh, more qualify academically also uh, uh, something that sort of uh, this one is also done in nupura yes definitely many of my okay. students are teaching and also okay. they also choreograph certain things and also some of them are into phd doing research oh. work and all that uh, suma krishna murthy is a very good natuanar and musician and yes. she conducts classes usha okay. dinakar is another one who does natuangam for us whenever we need ajay vishwanath used to also do and dance also all of them dance beautifully and also help me a lot in taking classes in uh, doing natuangam for the shows and they're all with me all the time so i have great. had a great, great connection with my students it's a blessing i know from I the know. past life, i think no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a blessing it, it's so it's a love, love and affection i, I have so much love for them i even now i have connection with all of them whether they dance or don't dance They are lovely. Yeah. lovely 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 yeah we have point. one more artist uh, we have one more artist with us who is a dance teacher and he lives in uh, shivamogga sagar his name is gopal sastri uh, gopal sagar he has been doing lot of work in uh, sagar gopal ji kindly come on the screen he has been trying to promote lot of artists through his uh, festival uh from uh, sagar and doing national festival and small small festival also open monthly festival gopal ji are you available on the studio can you come on the screen mm. wonderful madam namaste gopal ah namaste definitely gopal ji we will perform for you by your blessing madam everything is by your blessing just blessing <laughs> He he does festivals in the Madam. open air in the Sagar, and uh, it's a big field, and uh, he gets the chairs, uh, seating arrangements of nearly two thousand two hundred of thousand, and you can see people filled up and uh, standing and seeing around. It's more than three to four thousand people stand and see that beautiful shows. This He does a two days festival. So needed to dancers. Yeah, it's Now one it's one thing he's been doing. a lean period because of the yes 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 yeah, madam these are about uh, already done by your blessing only <laughs> like you guru's hard, like. hard work yeah. behind <laughs> yes madam I, i i want to ask one question yeah how uh, how you organize uh, so many you you have organized so many festivals please share uh, some experience about that and give uh, some uh, uh, suggestion about to our uh, organizers how to organize and how to monetize the festival uh, uh, being a dancer i was uh, my mind was academically bent so i used to we used to oh. get all scholars to come and speak demonstrate and we have had all kinds of dances manipuri chau and uh, even uh, satriya and kathak and bhatnatyam mohini artam kathakali everything that you name it and the, it's a great feeling that so many great dancers have come to nopura and my nataraja here seems to be blessing all of them and he is uh, it feels that he has bestowed his best blessing on us also so yeah, yeah. see it educates the people once they that's one thing i felt when i was traveling a lot with uh, to madras and uh, also delhi with my husband i used to feel uh, i used to see dances there and uh, delhi shows and all with uh, good lighting and stage craft and all that which used to make me feel why this is not happening in bangalore so i started uh, pestering my husband and we started in 84 itself nitya nritya it's going on in between a few years we could not do but it's going on for almost 30 years so 
if you have festivals a varied uh, styles of dancing definitely it attracts the people and also make them feel our nation is so rich with all this art and culture yeah, really and you know even in villages people enjoy a good show whatever it is yeah, whether they and the whole thing yes. or not when a good show is put up they definitely involve themselves and enjoy it so that is the purpose of your festival and also to educate the younger generation in theory uh, stage craft everything uh, pertaining to dance how to handle a uh, performance how to announce a performance all this uh, costume making everything is comes together when you have a festival and uh, you meet def different people from different places in yes. india yes, yes that is a very enriching experience Oh, super. <laughs> so you are doing a wonderful job and uh, keep doing it and people definitely appreciate and enjoy it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Gopal ji, for that wonderful, what a good advice uh, madam has given and for yeah, so yeah. many years she has been doing wonderful festival and everybody, I think. So we all should go and get some instructions from her how important it is, even the announcer so what are what are what are things we have to learn yes, see are. what keen that's true yeah really, really. yes yeah okay, so thank much you, thank, thank you madam thank you gopal ji for being with us thank from uh, shomaga and sagar wonderful thank you uh, uh, madam ji we have one more uh, question that uh, what is really happening in our country is the awards and recognition for the artist uh, there are so many artists in state level and national level and why the government is not recognizing these artists why uh, uh, organizations like sangeet natak academy iccr kannada and culture ministry of culture from delhi we are not getting good platforms we are not been uh, what is the problem behind this even the awards is been misused or the real artists are not getting what is your opinion this is very unfortunate in karnataka really well, okay. the, the mps the government people those who are in the positions they don't uh, know anything about artists they should oh, promote okay. for padma shrees and all that academy awards and all this they are the ones who should promote the local people isn't it they yes. don't do it yes whereas in oh. uh, chennai and all they will fight for those awards they will never let go where is oh. that kind of attitude in us i'm very oh. sorry that uh, we are way behind things in karnataka about uh, dance especially oh. music oh. and dance is uh, way behind it because we don't have that kind of opportunities once again and then we okay. need you know, this thing uh, what um, academy of our own for dance we share it with yes music. yes that is one thing we need it because so much as in bangalore the dance has grown in with different yes. brands like orissi manipuri yes. kathak and all yes. that we need yes. an academy of our own to um, strengthen the network here you are and very correct you are very correct yes you are very correct that. i've been asking for this with so many people i even went to the chief minister and we spoke to vedyurupa then he almost okay. wrote a letter to uh, maligar who promoted the whole thing and he told me also it is going to happen but there was a write up in a paper i don't know who wrote it why you need a okay. different academy music is a part of dance you don't need a different guru <laughs> <laughs> academy kodava academy urdu academy yakshagana yes. academy folk dance academy differently why shouldn't we have an academy of our own you are correct you are correct that you are correct it's a must for us to uh, that's what yes. strengthen our own uh, this thing field and also promote our dancers that's very necessary Wonderful. and a person who is sitting in the natak academy there should also Delhi. promote these local artists yes See? yes that is necessary 
Do you think That's our uh, representatives are right people being sent there or some fake people are sent who don't even know who are in Karnataka no, and such people are sitting there and not promoting any dancers here, dance festivals are not being called. Don't you think it is very bad for yeah, us? I to... remember of South Central Zone. I yes. went to the meeting every time and I, they asked me for suggestions. They were very polite and all that. And then I said so many things. I uh, wrote down and gave it to him, them and I thought they would be taking the suggestions and doing wonderful work. They not even give us one invitation and they say this happened in Bangalore. This we put up in Mysore. We did this in Chiumaka and such uh, uh, occasions and uh, festivals. Where is it? Being a member, I don't even get an invitation to those. That is true. That is what, true. Is this? what kind of um, uh, performance is that? What kind of organization is That's that? True. Then I left off because uh, I was not interested in such kind of work. Who, do, who don't recognize the local people and uh, put up the proper performances and inform everybody about what's happening. Simply they show us a list saying that all this happened in Bangalore, all this happened in Mysore. That's not, I don't know whether it happened or not. <laughs> that is true. That is true. You are correct. Yeah. There is actually there is so much of money in Ministry of Culture, Central Government, crores of rupees. Yes. Sangeet Nataka Academy, New Delhi is getting more than 50 crores per year. I do not know what is happening. Do you think something has to change at the national level and the state level for the culture? Because Karnataka doesn't have one style of dancing like Bharatanatyam yeah. owned by Tamil Nadu, Kuchipudi by Andhra Pradesh, Mohini Atam and Kathakali. Where do we have a classical dance style of our own? We are fighting yeah. for Mysore school. That's why we are trying to build up that to come to some level and then okay. we can also face this dance brother. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's something which should happen. I feel that's my that has been my goal to promote Mysore school all the time. Sorry, sorry, you became silent. Yeah, we have to go really fight for uh, the best to happen to all the cultural artists, especially classical dancers who have been uh, uh, not looked upon properly. In Karnataka, uh, we have had a Kolar style, Mugu style. Yes. Yeah. Style, Mysore school style. All these Wonderful. have salient features and also yeah. they are rich in repertoire apart from the regular Bhattanatyam of Tanjur quartet. We must promote this, make it that stronger and present it very well so that people will recognize it. That's so do you think this is the responsible of the government and the academy to do that? They must Karnataka government. Yes. Yeah. So that we but stand par with other states. That yes, is true. That is so. Yeah. Is, uh, do you think uh, is it enough that the government is promoting the youngsters to go to national level, the professional dancers? No, not much, I think. I don't seem to see much. Yeah. No. That is true. Mm. Yes. We youngsters have a lot of problems, a lot of dreams. We have one more young, uh, dynamic icon, uh, Som Shekhar, who's been dancing all his life. And he is a professional classical dancer. He and his yes. wife, they both are very good uh, artists who's learned so much of uh, dance. Som Shekhar, can we have you on the screen? Yes, dance with us. It's been yes. a pleasure to have he's, that. <laughs> he's one of the youth icons. Somuji, Somu, we have Guruji with us. She loves Thank young you, dancers and she's always yes. behind young dancers. Yes. She's even today. It was so good. Nowadays, you have not but, put up any is it because of this uh, pandemic. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we couldn't. Uh, ah, about so Nutekala Yeah, we are. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Namaste, ma'am. I was so fortunate Namaste. to work under you, work with you, uh, when you were a president of uh, Karnataka Nrutya Kala Parishat, and uh, I was there uh, as a committee in the committee, and uh, you encouraged so many uh, festivals at that time, and uh, you organized so many festivals and uh, workshops and everything, and it was so nice that working with you, ma'am. Like my question is, from past. one and after two years we uh, because of this pandemic we are all becoming more virtual than it's becoming uh, more uh, uh, realistic the yeah. classes happening in the virtual performances happening in virtual and everything but it is in a way like we had we didn't had any other option so we had to go virtual like everything in online some of them have taken this online and it, they are doing it so well like even the youngsters and some of them the way they been handled like how do you feel and uh, what do you suggest like uh, regarding this online because we don't have any other options now so what better can be done even though we are going through online even the performances or the classes so what the what how can we improve or uh, what you feel that this can be done to make it even more better no it is true that uh, teaching on online is not a very comfortable thing by any chance neither the students feel not do teachers feel but as you said there is no option the connectivity is there still with our students but one good thing which has happened is all over the world we are connected when i speak like this not only the bangaloreans yes. are you know local but all over i have given so many talks from um, people from us and uh, other uh, places have asked me to speak about mysore school and other things so that has happened and also we have danced for uh, some of the festivals abroad which we wouldn't have done uh, sitting here in bangalore so these are plus points but you know doing one item or so or two items for the 10 minutes 15 minutes doesn't improve your dance caliber by any chance and uh, they they are not paid also because they get an opportunity they go the youngsters go and perform there but if that have becomes a regular uh, feature it's going to be very difficult for uh, dancers to make their living or may come up in uh, in the dance field so the physical uh, um, uh, presence and the uh, live shows are a must for a, for dance it's a visual art which has been, has to be viewed and that connectivity between the audience and the dancer is so very necessary then only you come up with your best when you don't know yeah. you are in a room and dancing uh, you hardly feel that i feel even with recorded music when you have uh, recorded music nobody is watching you nobody is correcting you so you go on in the self same manner again and again and not improving at all so that's something i feel and the youngsters and the newcomers cannot be taught on this media at all they don't understand so and there is not enough place for them to dance in many houses true very true, very true. yes true. thank you so much for your suggestion ma'am and uh, hopefully we will come out of this pandemic uh, come out of this pandemic soon and uh, we will get back to our senior stages and uh, offline classes soon yes definitely thank you thank you, thank you so much shekhar for being with us wonderful and so shekhar thank you for being with us <clears throat> thank you sir so so many things are happening uh, around the world so many things are happening around the country so many things are happening everywhere uh, guru ji now it is your time to give us a final verdict for how these changes uh, what we want now can take place and uh, let us also look into the future generation what is your suggestions for the future future generation who are taking dance as profession because a lot of institutions have come up now a lot of uh, universities have come up now 
like they are giving uh, master degree phd is bachelor degrees and uh, our uh, uh, this one is also conducting junior senior with uh, all these exams have come and everybody wants to take dance as a profession what is your uh, suggestions for these youngsters who want to take dance as a profession and uh, how would they land up taking up as a professional dancers or teachers or uh, take it up very seriously to a different level we need your uh, blessings and your uh, suggestions for all these dancers yeah foundation should be laid very well so you must okay. learn okay. from a guru and not go on changing gurus you must okay. have faith in the guru and also that uh, a guru should have faith in you also uh, as students then only oh. they can they are like two mirrors one looking into the other they are complementing each other so i give my best and she should try to do her best that that is something very important especially for first 10 years it say a child comes around 8 or 9 till she 17 18 she must do hard work and learn things in the oral tradition being obedient to a guru is very very important if this is not something you write down and uh, memorize it and all that it's something you have corrected every minute of your dancing <coughs> by your guru so that is very necessary and when you do your arangatram before 20 till 30 years you go on learning from your guru and improving yourself and um, doing in the productions and also performing whenever opportunity comes is necessary by then you should have built up your caliber both in theory practice performance and other aspects of dance like stage craft lighting makeup costume making everything should come into your system by learning seeing asking people kelavam pallam kalitu unta ellano tilkobekagutte telko by thoti if you are established as a dancer you will never look back you will have your day. Wow. yes but my kind of 20 years of hardship and uh, concentration or your work is very very necessary and you have with your creativity in you all these things help an interdisciplinary uh, education learning is very necessary for dancers you must know about sculpture you must know about the uh, music you must know about the instruments you must know about dresses uh, you must know about stage craft all this at least if not everything at least you have must have an idea and that aesthetic sense this is what is good i learned that a lot from didi here maya rao oh, maya didi okay maya rao okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> honestly that was wonderful i learned by just looking at her and she also was very interested in me and taught me so much that's so that is something true. and also it's a sixth sense in a dancer that uh, this is what is apt correct that comes into your uh, system as you go on Uh, have experience but Great. you need patience to be with the teacher and learn everything yeah. from her and and uh, somewhere i 25% you learn from your teacher 25% by studying working 25% from looking at others and 25% by looking around the world contemporarily yes. what is happening in the world today so this is how you make a 100% of your wonderful art. wonderful yes. great wonderful yeah. message from you for the world artist who been watching all over the world your blessings are great if you want to become an 100% dancer and you once you are a dancer you don't look back what a wonderful message you are given and i am sure all the artists of all categories all the classical forms and all other uh, dancers will take this message and work for their future and definitely you have taken the karnataka into a very very bigger uh, uh, performance uh, level and 
all the artists whom you are tra trained and your institution is a worldwide publicity you are given and it is a feather in uh, our uh, karnataka artist for uh, uh, to have such a great guru with us who have promoted so many we are so blessed to have you your blessings to all of us thank you so much for being with us thank you so much <laughs> Lok loka samas loka samasta sukino bhavantu thank you thank for you so much and all the viewers and all of you who have come to speak with me yes i'm very thankful to all of you thank, thank you. you very much madam namaskaram namaskaram namaskaram